everyone welcome back to my channel today i am currently um trying to get ready for tomorrow for you know to celebrate my birthday i'm really gonna turn 24 can you believe that that is such i feel like i'm getting really old even though like 24 is still like pretty young but i kind of feel like i'm kind of getting old i feel like i'm really 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 close to 30 and it's just kind of weird to think that I'm about to be 30, but currently just set this up. I'm doing a burrito, but um, I just currently set that up. I bought a projector, you know, for us to watch a movie because I feel like that TV is too small for us, for my friends and I to watch a movie. I feel like it'll be not as enjoyable to see. So that's why I bought a projector and, and here's my cake so cute um it's a pink heart-shaped cake let me buy that cake from someone that um from a customer that shops at my shop i'm gonna put some stream lights over here um for it can be like a whole vibe Today, um, I went to church and there was like this summer activity for the kids after and my mom uh, put um, some things together like many different shades of pink of flowers with these little white I don't know what they're called but they're really cute and I'm gonna give my friends each a flower vase here's my 24 candle gold white pink napkins I still have to do the chocolate covered chocolate. Okay, so I saw this thing on YouTube of a girl doing like a confidence list. So like we all have to write like qualities. Okay, so like Debbie has to write qualities of all three of us that she sees in us that you know that God can use for you know for his kingdom. Or like just good qualities in general. Yeah. So like just positive things about each other. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So we okay. each write a you can, Yeah, you can write it on your phones. I'm just using it after because I need my phone. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. And then once we're done, we'll share. Three, you said. Okay, so I have to write three, one for each of you. Uh, you can do multiple, it doesn't have to be one. But uh, the so one is preferred. One, at least one. <laughs> at least one? At least one. How about two per person? Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't put my name in there. I'm about to be confused with the subject. pressure. Okay. Who wants to go first? I guess I can go. You? Okay, okay. then. Jocelyn. <laughs> okay. okay. Jocelyn, you're sure of who you are in Christ. You speak directly with wisdom, and you're very generous. Aww. Shania, I put that you're a girl after God's own heart. You're kind to everyone. You think of others' needs before your own. Uh, Jesse, I put that you're funny, you're not afraid to be yourself, and you're very friendly. <laughs> and Nadita's not here, but I put that she's a separate hearted woman, she lights up the room, and she has a very outgoing and welcoming energy. And, um, <laughs> so, so you think I'm wise? <laughs> <laughs> I think when you want to, you can yeah. boom, just speak wisdom and like yeah. directly. Sure. So, definitely. I just put that up there for you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I get scared. Okay, okay. 
Okay, um, Debbie, I say that you're a leader, and I feel like you like kind of like pushed me a little bit, Damien. Um, by inviting <laughs> me to all these Bible classes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and también este, you have a lot of knowledge of the Bible too. Este, Shania, I say that you're encouraging. I feel like you're very understanding. And you also have a lot of knowledge. Jess, you're very outgoing. I like that you're straight out too. <laughs> I think you're funny too. <laughs> and Alita, I say that she's caring, positive, and también like very um, serving. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm not sure. But I put that, okay, Jocelyn, it's gonna be like I repeat it. I get so nervous. For everyone, I feel like I put like some of the same thing. But for Jocelyn, I put caring, dreamer, welcoming, and thoughtful. For Debbie, I put friendly, talkative, caring, and welcoming. And for my sister, I put patient, kind, helpful, and caring. Like everyone got caring. Yeah, I like it. Okay, my turn. So for you, Jesse, I put that you are very really friendly, and I think you're wise for your age. And you know how to make like a whole laugh and have fun. So I don't know how to do it. For Jocelyn, I put that you are also very wise and good at giving advice, and that you have a heart that wants to please the Lord. And I, I also think you're creative and like very a creative and passionate person. Yeah. For Debbie, you can I, tell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very creative. Extra. <laughs> For Debbie, I put that you like automatic. I don't know why you have the ability to feel like people make you yeah. feel welcome. Like the first time I met you, you yeah. already talked to me. I, like, like, I was like, I get nervous with many people, but when I met you, I was like, oh, she's so nice. <laughs> so uh -huh. um, and I think that God can use you to like lead others to to them. Yeah. Yeah. And you're yeah. very kind and fair. Uh -huh. And the next time, when she sees this, I put that she's a light and like her smile and attitude is so contagious. And she has a strong, she has, I can see that she has a strong faith in what God can do for her and her family. Yeah. Aww. That's it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Good ones. You have to guess. I'm kidding. <laughs> you have to open it again. Once again. <laughs> this is okay. Open it again. Once again. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna open it again. Oh. Another stuff inside. Oh, so cute. Time for the summer stream. I thought I was like, that looks like hair. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Emotional coloring book. Still in there. Have you seen this Bible verse online? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? I like I've been seeing, I've been seeing that and the Bible verse that you put on my letter. You then have to be said in the church too. That the good work that God uh, yeah, has been yeah. finished. Yeah. Can you open it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what it looks like. Oh, oh that's so cute. That's going to be so relaxing to color. Oh, oh, it tells you like. Kidding? It's cute. I stressed or angry in the morning or before I sleep. Before you sleep, hey, before you sleep, instead of reading books, you should color and read that. Well, I got like some good books now. Like it's the for the mind. Okay, like. Yeah, like Ooh, oh, <laughs> nice. They had a gift card. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> look it up on the internet like if it had like anything I think it's like good and I heard and I heard it's really really good so okay. if you like I it, it yeah I heard it was sad too more fans 
Oh, it's cute, right? Oh, I was at 2 a.m. yesterday trying to find the perfect bio verse. Frames? Frames. They still have, don't have a picture. I need to get a picture from my other friend. Well, that one has a picture already. Don't take me. Keep it like that. Oh, yes. Isn't it cute? Yes, do you like them? It is June 14th, five days after my party. For like a little celebration, I, I wouldn't really consider that as a party. Um, but um, got my jacket of ice, boba ice coffee. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit before I end this video. Um, I also want to kind of like do a little scrapbook of my prayer journal. This is my new prayer journal and I got some pictures um, to uh, put on my prayer journal to make it look more cute and girly. Here are some of the pictures that I'm going to use. Um, I printed this out. It says, if the stars were, mer were made to worship, so will I. It's all pink. And it has like a little coquette bowl and it says, God is within her. She will not fail. Psalms 46 verse 3. And uh, blessed is she who has believed that the Lord will fulfill his promises to her. Luke 1 verse 45. And I like this verse a lot because um, God has made a promise in my life and I'm still, you know, waiting on it. And I do have, you know, faith um, that, you know, what he said he will bring and do in my life will come to pass. And I just hope that I remain strong in my faith as I am now. And I just love this person a lot. I feel like it really speaks to me. Um, and I also got this Princess in the Frog, Charlotte and Tiana, when they were little girls. Um, I really love Charlotte from Princess in the Frog. Like she is so, like, I don't know, energetic, curly, bubbly. And I don't know. She's, like, very extra as well. And I'm, I'm a very extra person. So maybe that's the part of me that I see in her. At least like I'm a very reserved and quiet person, but like I feel like once I'm out of my shell or um, just I feel like she's the little girl inside of me. I get like very excited, bubbly and all that. But um, as I said, I am reserved, so most of the time I look like <laughs> most of the time I look like this. You know, just sitting still and quiet but and I just like it so much because she has like well, they both have like you know crowns like different type of crowns and it just reminds me how like you know we're God's daughters and yeah because we're daughters of a king and if you're a boy um, son of a king yeah son of a king and I just thought it was so cute so I wanted to add that I've been scrapbooking a lot and as you can tell I, I like the color pink and funny thing is I got this like four three years ago and I was going to use it for something else and then I ended up just not using it at all until now and it's pink and it's like this um, tie over here this silky tie that can do into a cute little bow and it fits the person that I am now perfectly because like, I feel like I kind of give that coquette vibes and this is you know um, my Valentine's Day party from 20 um February 4th, 2024. It's so cute. And this is the letter that Shania has wrote um, to me. She brought little like cards and little gifts for all my friends and I. This is Shania. Let me see. Right here. That's my friend Shania. And this is the um, note that she put inside the card for me. And I feel like God really spoke through her because. Um, it just, it really spoke to me and I was just wowed and amazed uh, when I read this. And I know the other girls were as well with, you know, their personal notes that Shania has wrote on them. And then this is some pictures from Destin. So cute. And we went parasailing. And we went to the beach. I love it. I just need to find stickers or something to put right here because I don't like that. I need to cover that up. 
and then our last night we went to the zoo well when my family and i went to the zoo and then this is my birthday page so pretty i'm in love with it and many more memories to come the scrapbooking takes a lot of time like i feel like each page like took me like 30 to an hour especially the ones with the most pictures and details into it those took me a really long time to do doing my prayer journal i'll show you um i already have like three prayers in there i really like writing my prayers down you know hopefully like once i meet my husband whoever he is um maybe i can share some things to him of like you know uh what i wrote during this time of you know singleness and you know just being on my own and maybe even my children you know um if I do, you know, God has blessed me with some kids, um, you know, but just my thoughts and just struggles or, um, or just some, sometimes I wait, I write like, like, I guess, um, wise thoughts in there as well, you know, thoughts that God gives me understanding and just some wisdom that he just gives me that I write in, in, in there as well. This was my prayer journal before. Um, the one I have now and it has a Bible verse ask and it shall be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you Matthew 7 chapter verse 7 I really do highly recommend for you to start writing as prayers I feel like it's an amazing thing to look back on you know on how uh, where you were at in life before compared to how it is now and the way you think and all of that um, it's really nice to see one new thing that I have um, been doing is um, now I actually like the beginning of this year I started reading romance books and you know there's nothing wrong with reading romance books um, well at least like the ones with no spice in it <laughs> um, but I feel like you know as you know in as people in general, you know, especially as women or men of God, we have to, you know, keep growing and, you know, um, being better, really. So there was nothing wrong with reading those romance books. I was gaining nothing from it, like nothing in my real life or nothing in my spiritual life besides giving me desires of, you know, having romance and falling in love, you know. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, having that desire. Um, but the minute that it starts to overtake your thoughts, uh, overtake, um, basically almost like, at least for me, like, I guess my whole life, I don't know, maybe I started to, you know, idolize relationships because that's all I would do is, you know, read these books. Um, and as I said, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with, you know, designing relationship and all that. But I was just not getting any benefits from reading this book. I was not healing. I was not growing. Um, I was. I feel like it was. It was kind of keeping me a little bit stagnant. It has definitely raised my standards high. So um, I guess maybe that's a benefit. But like, I feel like I'm in the point in my life right now where I need to heal um, from things that I have not healed from. You know maybe now or like from when I was a kid and I know we all have things I didn't have a bad childhood like don't get me wrong I don't have, I didn't have a bad childhood but like you know we all have been hurt in our lives and sometimes we just need to heal from those things and um, for us to be better and you know forever for wherever God wants to take us uh, for what he has for us so I decided you know to switch my books out um, will I read romance books again in the future? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not gonna say never because it makes me know, but as of right now, no. Um, at least I'm not trying to. Um, I'm gonna start reading books, you know, more that are gonna feed me, um, you know, confidence, healing, and all these other things. So, for Shania's birthday, because Shania and I are both readers. Um, I got her romance books. I got her both the same romance books and both the same Christian books. And the romance books, we read it together. 
and I also got us, her and I, um, this book, Authentically Uniquely You, from Joyce Mayer, and it's about, um, you know, from uh, living free from comparison and the need to please. Personally, I don't really have the struggle that much to people, to people please. Um, I'm not really much of a people pleaser. Um, I guess that's kind of good. Um, do I probably have it? Probably a tiny bit, but it's not really like a struggle for me. It does talk about how, you know, we're all different. We're all made to be different and how, you know, we are unique and God created us, you know, uniquely made for specific purposes and how we are all basically great because um, we are unique in our own way. And I think I'm only in chapter four in this and so far it's good. Um, oh, but look. When I was reading this book on um, page 26, I highlighted, but we must not love and be attached to the things that are in this world or compromise our godly values in order to have them. This becomes a test for every Christian at some time, but we can pass that test and keep God as our number one priority. Remember that Jesus says to seek first God's kingdom and righteousness and everyone and everything else will be added to us. Matthew, um, chapter 6 verse 33 we don't have to seek things or compromise our morals in order to get them we can seek God and be assured that he will provide us with all we need and that is a reminder for me because I would spend almost every day with my head on these romance books and as I said there's nothing wrong but like the minute that it comes it becomes you know your whole life or it's all what you can think or do that's when it becomes a problem um, same thing with success you know success is not a bad thing but the minute it becomes your everything and it starts to become um above god that's when it becomes a problem so i think everything is a balance and to always keep god number one and you know there's some just some type of wisdom in here you know things that i should be feeding my mind more into instead of romance because let me tell you guys like yes i do desire a husband i do desire romance and relationship and all that but they are not, whoever my husband is, is not going to heal me. And whoever he is, I'm not going to heal him. He needs to do that on his own with God. And I have to do that on my own with God as well. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't know if someone needed to hear that. But I hope, you know, whoever needed to hear that reaches to someone. Um, because I feel like he's saying that. This is God speaking right now. But um, another thing that I got was get out of your head, stop the spiral and toxic thoughts. Um, I struggle, 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 struggle with overthinking. I overthink a lot. I think too much. And I do need to stop that. So that's exactly why I got this book. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. And, you know, I hope, you know, God can use this book, you know, to help me with that problem because I do struggle with it and um, I've heard many good things about this book so yeah I am like I'm gonna say God is putting my life he's like replacing things into my life so you'll get something out like my Rowan's books and replace them with books like these I decided to share that with y'all I do want y'all to know more about me and um, and I want to be real and authentic and this channel I don't want to fake anything with y'all um, I don't want to fake being happy I don't want to fake that my life is rainbows and cupcakes and all of that you know we all have struggles you know um, you know that's why in the Bible it says that Jesus is the doctor for the sick you know we are the sick people we humbly you know come forward and accept that we are sinners and that we are broken people God is a restorer, He is a healer, He's a redeemer, He's all of that, and He can pick up our pieces and make it into something beautiful. So yeah guys, <laughs> this is Jesus talking, but uh, uh, yeah, um, I hope y'all like, you know, this video, and y'all can watch um, my Destin vlog video if you haven't already, and the video before that, it's a video that I did before I gave my life to Christ. It's not that bad, but I feel like you can probably see a difference, a little difference, because the ones where, like, I would cuss and stuff, um, 
that was a huge difference in me of the person I was then to now. And the point of this channel is to glorify God. I pray about this channel and I just tell God, you know, help me run this channel the way you want me to. And I guess this is the way because he just knows, he just knows how to. And I'm giving it to him and I'm allowing him to give me the wisdom, the knowledge, you know, on what to share with you on stuff. But yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.